Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond and round eight of the Roulette Pen Collab Project Pan. Uh, so today I'm just going to film um, the intro and uh, run through what prompts I got, what products I picked, what my goals are. So before I get into that, just as evidence, um, I've got a tag video coming up in the next couple of weeks and there is a palette that features in it that uh, I said that I would make sure I used um, before I put it away and today I am using that palette so this is it so you will see it pop up in a future video and uh, what motivated me to give myself pink eye today was the uh, lip gloss that I have got on so just so that you all know when you see that video that yeah, I, ha I have used it and uh, I'm not sure if I'll pack it away or not yet. I don't think I've used enough shadows in it. So I'll probably end up um, leaving it and dipping it in. So a little bit of a um, side topic there. But anyway, so um, a little bit about the uh, collab. Like I said, it is round eight and it was started by Rebecca Morgan and Alexi. I will link their channels um, in the description box and I wanted to say thank you to Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock because if it wasn't for her I probably would not have started this um, project up again um, but just watching her intro video definitely inspired me and I think the comment she made about um, really enjoying seeing people's interpretations of the prompts and what products they picked that sort of just thought yeah it is good fun and okay i'm gonna go ahead and do it so uh it's um up to uh, uh i should say thanks thanks to andrea that i'm actually back doing um this project so unfortunately i can't i've got it like an iphone 7 and i can't record using um the pretty random app for my numbers so unfortunately you're just going to have to take my word uh, for the numbers that got generated so I'm using the new list which is just the um, products or prompts from 1 to 100 um, I started this um, project in round 7 and um, that's when they introduced the new list so um, I wasn't going to start using the old one I know that some people that are doing um, this project pan were already doing it in previous rounds so they've continued on um, with that list so and I'm not sure whether or not there's actually a playlist um, created yet but if there is I'll link it um, if not I can always link it um, in the future once it is created so I'm just pulling a hair loose hair that was tickling my arm so anyway we're just going to um, get into it so for the first number that I rolled, I got, um, well, actually, what I'm going to do is just go in numerical order. Um, so the first one I've got is Prompt 16, which is a green or clean beauty product. So for that one, first thing that came to mind is, um, is the brand Bite Beauty. And I do have a few products of theirs, um, but I decided to go... Um, with the Bite Beauty Cream Lip Gloss in Rose Pearl. So that is that one there. Um, I've had to put my ring light on today, guys, sorry, um, just because it is very, very overcast outside. So, um, and that is what I have got on my lips today. So I've sort of tossed around um, in regards to the goals for this um, project, but I decided to set myself a goal for 30 times. Now, if you aren't familiar with the project being it is a rolling um, project pan so once you've hit your goal you will um, generate a new number and find the corresponding prompt and then you'll choose a new um, new product to match that prompt and I think that the first time um, when I did round seven that was my first ever um, project pan that I'd done outside of my own sort of panning um, and I did learn a little bit um, from that in regards to setting the goals and I, I 
think that because it, this one runs um, for four months, so it started on the 15th of September and it will run through to the 15th of January, um, I really don't want to be using the same products for an entire four months. It becomes really, really boring and I think it's not very exciting for um, viewers to watch either. So um, I have tried to bear that in mind when I set my goals. And the other thing that I had to think about was how many times a week I actually realistically do my makeup. And in all honesty, I do it maybe one to two times a week. And I'm just not motivated at the moment. So I'm hoping that doing this will sort of encourage me to get in and do my makeup a little bit more. I have gotten lazy when it comes to doing makeup, so I'm really, really thankful for um, having my YouTube channel because it makes me do my makeup at least once a week because sometimes I do film two videos in the one day. So, uh, so like I said, I've had to bear that in mind with setting my goals. So um, I have weighed all my pro uh, products, but most of them are usage goals rather than weight goals. But what I thought I'd do rather than um, every update saying, oh, this is how much weight I've used. Most of the weights go down very, very slowly. So hence why I've used the amount of times as um, to use a product as the goal rather than the weight goal. Um, but what I will do is once I've hit goal, I will re-weigh the product and then I will sort of give an update to um, the usage in the uh, or the change in the weight so so that that is my very first um, product now the second prompt that I got just scrolling through my spreadsheet so the number was 49 and it was a timeless classic or throwback product now the first thing that came to my mind um, in that was the uh, Too Faced uh, then and now palette um, because anyone who is not familiar with this one you have the circa 1998 original shades uh, which is this row here and then you've got from the 2018 sort of version of those same shadows so I have not used this palette before today so um, my goal that I decided to set was that I had to use just keep closing up but um, I have to use each shade in the then row um, at least twice uh, so once I have used every shade across that top row of 10 shadows um, then I can roll that one out so uh, and that may mean that I might even use two shadows in, in the one look and that, that counts, it doesn't count as one, it's, it still counts as one usage of each shade So that I used in that particular look. So yeah, I'm excited that um, I, the, so far the first two products that I've picked I've not used before. So that's really exciting. Uh, so number three, I got prompt 54, a product you overlooked but now love. So this pro um, product I came across recently um, or sort of came back to my attention when I did my single highlighter inventory videos and it was a product that I never, I never used because I didn't like it as a highlighter and it is this Hourglass, um, it's really hard, it's just a mini but it is the Hourglass um, Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick in the shade Champagne Flash. And what I discovered was that I really, really liked it as a brow highlight. So you can see there, hopefully I can see it. I'm not sure how well it's going to come once I edit, but um, I really like it as, as a brow highlight. So I decided that um, I would use this as a product that I had previously overlooked but now I, I love so um, and the usage um, goal for that one is 20 times so that sort of ties in with the 10 shadows that I have to use twice so um, we'll see how we go like I said I might knock those shadows over quicker than that if I use more than one in, in any given look but anyway um, all right so then the next one I had was a perfume so this 
one I chose was the Katie. I've only got two perfumes, so Katy Perry's Mad Potion. Um, I have only just late August started, so it's basically full. I have weighed it, but what I also did, um, I'm not sure whether you guys are actually going to be able to see it or not, I got a marker and like a permanent marker and I marked the level of the bottle um, where the liquid was but you may notice that there are two marks on there so the very first one I did I had it down on my desk and I was looking from above and I was like oh yeah I marked it and then for some reason I sort of turned and went um yeah no that doesn't really work so I went side on level with where the actual perfume is and remarked it so we're going from the lower um, mark not not the, the the higher one so the goal for that one is to use it 30 times I've pretty much made myself get into the habit of using perfume every day even though I'm not going out anywhere um, once I've had my shower I will always put some perfume on um, very occasionally I will top my perfume back up um, but uh, we'll see uh, I do have another perfume on the go I opened both of them up pretty much within a few days of each other because I spent the first part of this year only ever wearing the one perfume and it got really boring so I thought, no, I know roughly now how much, a, um, how long a bottle will last me if I wear it every day, and I'm confident that I could turn two bottles of perfume over in 12 months. Um, whereas before, I didn't wear it as regularly, so I, it used to take me close to 12 months to finish um, one bottle. So um, I think that after 30 uses of that, I'll be ready to um, go back to my other perfume. So. Um, I guess that's my reward some products I want to turn over quicker than others I don't want to be wearing the same perfume for four months again so um, anyway and I may still wear the other one in between just to break it up which just means it's going to take me longer to um, reach my goal on that one so uh, now we've got number the number five so I got prompt 70 for that one. It's something silver or gold, which could be product or packaging. Uh, so I'm not really one for wearing silver. Uh, so I would have gone for something with silver packaging. And funnily enough, I wear silver jewelry, but I don't particularly like silver um, makeup on me. So and then I stumbled across this, which is probably, there we go that kind of <laughs> um, it is the I should just give up I should know when I've got this ring light on that you're not going to be able to see it so maybe if it's focused on me uh, anyway it is by mellow cosmetics and it is the treasure chest um, palette again something I have never used and what I decided to do was just pick the one shade um, in the palette and um, stay focused on that because the other one is sort of not getting many uses but using lots of shades whereas this one I decided that um, I would um, just pick the one shadow and I ended up going with this one here it's called Tiger's Eye and it's a really nice transition shade so it means that it will make it easy for me to use every time um, I do my makeup uh, which is the whole point I don't want to make it hard for me to use uh, so I've stuck with that one and the goal for that to try and be in line with everything else is to use that shade at least um, 20 times so that is the second to last product and the very last one I got prompt number was 91 and it was a glitter liquid shadow or pigment so I decided that I would go with what I've got on today I'm not sure how well it's going to show up because I really struggle to capture but I've got it in in my inner corner and I decided to choose the Colourpop Hungry Ghost glitter and it is a multicolored 
um, glitter and it's probably not going to show up so I'm gonna just flick this ring light off here we go and see so you can see that it's quite a, a pretty glitter that I think you could put over a lot of different shadow bases um, maybe I'll just swatch a little bit on my hand and we'll see how well you guys can see that one so you can see there's a lot of gold reflect in there I don't know why it's doing there we go yeah I'm not having much luck and that's with my ring light off that is just my phone it's a pain in the butt there we go so you can get to see a little bit of the different colors there so it does look really really pretty um, on the eye um, I'm always scared when I use glitter um, on my eyes I'm I'm very wary when I take it off I did put glitter glue down before putting um, that on today so um, but I, I, I have them they're pretty and I want to get some use out of them so it's I'm really happy to have one of those in this panning project so um, so that is it for this video um, it is going to be going up slightly late like I said because I I sort of pretty much forgotten about doing it and uh, already made the decision that I probably wouldn't end up doing the next round um, but here I am doing it so thanks again to Andrea and thanks again to everyone for joining me for this video and I will see you in the next one bye well it helps if I tell you what the goal was for um, the um, glitter from Colourpop and the goal um, is to hit pan on that so I don't think it should be too hard um, because it's not like a hard pressed shadow but we'll see it might take me the whole four months uh, just depends on I guess um, how many times I, I use it so we will see uh, but yeah so okay I really am going now bye